arrested on Saturday. The two gentlemen will be arrested on Saturday. The legal support committee. The legal support committee is trying to prepare for that. Is trying to prepare for that. But do understand. But do understand. We have limited resources. We have limited resources. And there is going to be. Uh, Expectation should be. Your expectation should be. Um, you may have to stay in jail till Monday. You may have to stay in jail because of the weekend. Because of the weekend. Um, also, also. Uh, it's planned to have a jail or, or legal support training, legal support training. Uh, uh, later this week, like Thursday or Friday. So that you know exactly what to expect. Exactly what to expect. So the public announcements we have Tim. Mike check. Mike check. Uh, I'm excited about going to jail. I'm excited about going to jail. Just two or three days or a week. Just two or three days or a week. Um, today uh, I was uh, invited. Today I was invited. Or summoned, I should say. Or summoned, I should say. To the King Center. To the King Center. At, uh, at last minute by uh, Bernice King. At last, last minute by Bernice King. King. She didn't want to negotiate or anything. She, she didn't, didn't want to negotiate, negotiate or anything. She just wanted to hear about our movement. She, she just, just wanted, wanted to hear about, about our movement. movement. Since we slept over there the other day. Since we slept over there the other day. After a meeting for about an hour and a half with all the King Center folks, specifically the ones that do the nonviolence trainings all over the world, uh, you don't have to quite check that. Uh, after sitting for about an hour and a half and doing the best I could to explain what the hell we are and what we're trying to do, they were very pumped up, really excited. And uh, at the end of that meeting, they said, what can we do to support? Wow. And uh, I asked if they could, this week, send their best trainer. There's this, there's this uh, guy named Charles who does trainings in Nigeria, um, and he's in town. I asked if they could send him to Peachtree Pine to do a non-violence training that is publicized, uh, that the, the, the news media keys in on it, and to get something that could be exciting to amp up Saturday and uh, to you know, make you know, I think there's a media message here that's, that's important. Uh, so they agreed to do that, um, and uh, so it's going to be Thursday. I'm still working on time, but it's, it's going to be really great if we could have. 50 or so or more people be at that training and I promise uh, it's going to be dynamic and exciting and all that uh, so I hope we can do it in the park but I really would like to do it at Peachtree and Pine because you know the Peachtree and Pine folks have got their own struggle and they're going to have to participate in, in, in some non-violent civil disobedience they want the training and, and I really would like to bring more people over into that space yeah. you know so I think it'd be great if it was Saturday I mean uh, Friday Thursday around four o'clock, I get people to go over there. When in general, we need people to mix it up over there too. I know that there's a lot of hype about it being scary. It ain't scary, man. I mean, a bunch of us been sleeping. It ain't scary at all. No, so no. Come on over. Have a beautiful sunrise. We have any more announcements? <laughs>